Kendra Omoko. I'm going to share my lesson on culinary arts. This is a CCA class, so College Career Awareness. This is going to be the introduction to culinary arts for uh, my students. The uh, standard that we're going through is students will assess their interests and aptitudes and explore related career options based on current career and technical education. So in student-friendly language, that basically is students will learn what culinary arts is. So uh, the re relationship to this structure is it's the introduction. So this is where we're starting from um, is in this unit that will move on throughout to um, being able to do some of these things in culinary arts like cooking and making a meal together. So for the beginning I'm going to just start off with uh, asking my students how they're doing and then we'll jump into our lesson. I'm going to ask the students um, what they do when they want to learn something and I'll let them answer it and we'll kind of discuss some of those things, whether they like to Google things and find out answers online, um, if they like to ask other people questions, and the question that I really, or the answer I really want to emphasize is going to school is a way to learn more. So if you like cooking and culinary arts and all those things that go into it, that going to school is really going to uh, give you kind of that edge and um, extra help and support and learning that you need to really succeed. So that's what I want to emphasize when we're answering that question and then I'll move on with just telling the students the objective for the day. Today we're going to talk about culinary arts so we will learn what it is and what it takes to be successful at it. And then I'm going to jump into sharing three links with my students and asking them to research the school and to share a little bit about it. So I have three different schools and they're just links to their websites and then the students can go online and learn a little bit about those culinary arts schools. So for this, um, virtually I would break the students out into like breakout groups. I would give them an icebreaker so they can kind of talk with the other students and still kind of interact and um, have a little fun together. So something like, what's your favorite food? Uh, have them answer that while they are waiting for me. I'll enter their breakout group really quick and just give them the link that they need and have them each go in and read that, look through their website and kind of chat about it for a few minutes and then decide on who's going to kind of speak and let us know more about it. And then um, after I've given the students some time to do that, I'm going to bring them all back and then kind of have a group discussion, have the, each group tell us what they learned about the school. And then I'm going to explain that uh, through culinary arts, um, it's more than just cooking. So you prepare the food, you have to learn how to present it and it's usually in the form of a meal, so there's several things you have to cook. And then I'm going to show them a video. It's just about what it takes to be a, a chef. And then we'll kind of discuss what was interesting with that video. Um, when I show that video, I will either uh, be able to just show it straight to the students or I might have to send them the link and they can watch it and then come back to the group when they're done and then we'll discuss it. Um, so after we do that I'm going to jump into kind of the activity and assessment for the day. I will have the students read an article. This article is about a chef um, who kind of struggles to really make it in the business and I think it shows the students that it takes a lot of work and um, school and really learning about the industry to be good at the job. Uh, so I'm going to have them read the article. So this can be reading it um, by themselves or we can read it as a group and just have 
um, students read different sections of the article. Um, some of the students in the class scenario um, were struggling with some comprehension so uh, and reading, so having the class all read it together could help with that. We will go through and read the article and then there is some questions about it and we can read the questions and have each student answer or have students write down their answers as we're going or let the students do it individually. Um, after we've got that all done, we'll have the students turn that in and that will be my assessment, the answers to that, as well as like the class discussions. Um, I will kind of wrap up the day with asking students to share what they thought was interesting about the article and then explaining again that culinary arts is more than just cooking. There's many careers in culinary arts and we're going to explore those tomorrow and throughout the rest of the week. Uh, things like food science, we're going to um, go through um, plating and we're going to talk about um, how to design your plates and make them look um, appetizing. So we're going to do those things throughout the week and I'll get the students kind of excited about those things. Um, students who haven't completed previous work, if we have a little extra time, I might let them do that. We might continue our discussion, uh, just kind of depending on where the students are at that day. Um, after all of these things and are able to um, go through the lesson, I will reflect. Uh, I've done this lesson before and it flows pretty well and the students really enjoy reading the article. The person that it's about is on TV so a lot of them have seen his shows and so they thought it was interesting that he struggles and they all have their own struggles and so they were really able to relate to him and so that was really reflected in the questions that they answered which I thought was really a cool experience to see and I feel like it helped the students open up a little bit more so um, something that could change about that lesson is adding a little more time for students to complete the uh, questions and get the answers in so especially those students who are struggling with reading comprehension um, giving like an extra day to get everything turned in um, maybe playing extra video while students are still working um, so that so the ones who are done can still have something to do but the ones who are still working can go ahead and still work and, and make sure they're getting their answers and making sure that I can get their assessment and really know what they're understanding about culinary arts. So that is my lesson plan. Thank you so much for um, watching that and have a good night.